Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claudia and today on my channel I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So if you guys are new here, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button, you guys hit the notification bell. That really helps the channel grow and reach the people that it needs to reach and that's really important to me. So I'm happy you guys are here and give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this content, if it gives value to your guys' day, if you guys would like me to do more videos like this, just because I'm kind of going through an experimental phase with this channel and I really want it to become something that I'm proud of and that can help you. So that means a lot if you guys just go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, leave me a comment, like, share, and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. So the topic of today's video is going to be how to create content when you're not in a good space. And that's really important and it doesn't have to just be content but for the sake of the video I'm going to choose content because that's what I've been struggling with. But it can also mean your job, uh, how to be there for your family or friends, how to stay motivated in the gym maybe or just other things in life that you might be going through. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make this video only because I'm a very positive person and I always try my best to have a positive outlook on all things in life, anything that might come our way. But I have been struggling this past month with creating content, whether that's for you know any brand that I'm sponsored with or if it's for just in general like just putting content out there because I'm a very creative person if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys will see that I love doing many different projects and I even love painting and drawing and designing and I haven't been able to come up with anything lately that I'm passionate about no new ideas I haven't been able to really put myself out there like that like a creator that I love to be and I was thinking about why so a little bit of backstory again if you guys follow me on any social media you guys will see that I recently just went back home to Oregon for a week I got to go in August to visit my family and be home and just kind of you know relax for a little and being up there really just grounded me again and it just it made me so happy to be around like people that I love and that I know and like childhood friends and like right now I'm in Vegas and Vegas is very different than Portland. I'm from Portland, Oregon originally and I've been down here in Vegas for 12 years. I was up there for 12 years so it just it made me feel really happy and you know with so many things that are going on in the world it was exactly what I needed. I loved it. Now I'm back home here in Vegas and I started I just felt really down like I wanted to hold on to that feeling of how I feel being up there and as much as you know I love Vegas and everything it's not home for me it never has been so I just wanted to keep that like high but I guess I wasn't able to and I kind of ended up crashing so I haven't been in like that great of a space since I came back I've been trying to but I haven't been able to kind of pick myself up now i mentioned this trip because you guys may be feeling like that towards quarantine towards just something that's been going on in your life maybe it is related to the situation right now in our world maybe it's not either way i hope that this video can give you guys some tips on how to you know keep your head up and keep pushing through keep moving forward and just get back to doing the things that make you happy because that's really what it's about so the first thing that I want to let you guys know is you shouldn't feel forced to do anything. Obviously, I have a job and it's not like I can pick and choose when I want to show up and when I don't want to show up. Some days I really obviously don't want to go to work, like probably a lot of us don't want to go to work, but we still have to go. But when it comes to content creating, again, for the sake of the video, it should never feel forced. If you're feeling forced to create content, then it's probably not going to come out good and you should definitely step back and just take a break like take a breather and really just an analyze what it is that you guys want to put out there because whatever it is that you're putting out into the world that really is a reflection of you so if you're constantly putting sad negative things then you got to look inside yourself and say hey what's going on 
So definitely don't force any content creating because I've realized that it just doesn't come out how you want and then later you could have done much more better on that project or for example in life like don't force a conversation, don't force a relationship, don't force a friendship, don't force a situation. Just let things flow naturally because when things flow naturally it comes out so much better in the end. The next advice that I would like to give you guys for creating content is gonna be to plan it out. So for example, every week I try my best to plan out like photo shoots, I try my best to plan out workout videos, and I have not been consistent thus far with my YouTube channel, but again, that's been because I just haven't been in the right space to create. But we can't use that as a crutch. We can't let that stop us from doing the things that we want to do. We have to just do them and hope for the best. And eventually things are going to get better and you'll see how things are going to work themselves out. So definitely plan, plan, plan your content, plan what you want to say, plan how you want to create it, how you want to make it come to life. And as far as in life, you know, sometimes it's great to have that spontaneous moments, spontaneous life things, but if there's something that you really want, then it's the best thing to do is probably to plan it or to envision it or to see how you're gonna make it happen and just get a plan in motion. That's definitely something you guys should do. Another thing that has really helped me stay accountable in creating content, even this video that you guys are watching right now, I was like lagging it but i told myself i was gonna do it i planned it out i knew what i wanted to share with you guys today and even though it's been tough to get in front of the camera and find something really good to put out for you guys i had my boyfriend keep me accountable and make sure that i took the time to do this because at the end of the day this is something i really want to be doing it's something that's meaningful for me and i've been wanting to do it for a long time so definitely find somebody in your life that's going to keep you accountable and help you reach and do those things that you want to do for me right now it's creating content and obviously growing my channel so here i am guys something else i want to share with you guys is that i will never tell you guys something here on my channel whether it's fitness related or life related or advice or anything if i haven't done it myself or tried it again i'm just a girl on youtube i can't tell you guys what to do with your lives but I will always be sharing my personal experience and how I've gone through things and what I've done to just get to where I am in my mental spot. So, you know, take it for what you will, take the good things and if they can help you then that's great. The next thing that I want to share with you guys that's like super popular, I know you guys have heard it before, is faith it till you make it. Now faith it till you make it, I have never been a big fan of only because I I love to be so genuine and if I'm happy, I'm happy and you know it. And if I'm sad, you, you know. And if I'm mad, you definitely know. So faith it till you make it, or sorry, not faith it. Well, faith it till you make it is one, but fake it till you make it is the one that I meant, sorry. So fake it till you make it. I'm not a big fan of only because, again, everything I do is genuine. Every, every single thing that I do is genuine. It comes from me. So saying I'm going to fake it doesn't really resonate with me, but if it resonates with you and if that's something that can help you guys just push through and do the things you have to do, then I mean, you know, definitely do that. However, I would instead say do things that really mean something to you. So don't just do things to do them. Find things or content you can get behind or ideas or even a career a job whatever it is that really means something to you because just doing something just because in the long run it's not going to make us happy it's not going to get us to where we really want to be so definitely think about that when you guys are aspiring to new things when you guys are putting your energy and your love money and extra time you know that you may have into that thing i'm gonna leave it up in the air what that thing is because for me again it's content and that's what you know i've been struggling with like producing content that i love and just and just staying on top of that so that's the issue that i've been having lately the next thing i want to tell you guys is to make sure that you're being honest with yourself like you have to have that one-on-one -on -one and say 
Like, am I really just like bullshitting myself or am I actually being honest? Because one thing is to say, I'm not in a good space. It's not the right time. I can't do this. It's not for me. Another thing is to be self-sabotaging and that's something totally different. So sometimes, and I'm guilty of this too, when it comes to just being my best self, I'll kind of sometimes not so much like I'm working on it, but just to be real and honest with you guys, sometimes I'll put myself down or I'll dim my light for others or I won't be like as big as I want to be because I feel like I have a big personality, but other people kind of sometimes don't get it, I guess. So I'll just kind of keep it down here. I don't know if you guys know what I mean or if you guys can relate, but that's something entirely different. And make sure you're not doing that and you talk to yourself and you got to figure out, you know, why it is you want to do what you want to do. What is really stopping you? Is it something that can be handled? Is it something that's out of your control? Is it somebody around you? And that's really important to figure out which one of those things it is that's going on. I hope you guys like my makeup just really quick because I did it just for you guys. You know, been in quarantine, have not gotten ready in the longest, 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 longest. So hope you guys like it if you like it give this video a thumbs up i'm not a makeup guru but you know i do what i do it feels so good to be on camera right now and talk to you guys i feel really happy that i'm doing this and yeah i'm excited for what's to come for my channel thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing it means the world to me it really really does because again if you guys saw my very very first video you know that i've been wanting to do this for some time now and like what I'm sharing with you guys today one reason or another I just never did it which leads me to my next point um, you gotta have the balls to do it so you gotta have the big cojones 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 you have to have the balls to do it because we could sit here and analyze and you know plan it out and draw it and save and this and that but if you guys don't actually do it one day then you're it's just like you're never gonna be ready i am never gonna be ready each time that i turn on this camera to not feel nervous to not feel like these butterflies in my stomach and and just you know nervous i guess and you guys might not ever get the courage or whatever it is that might be holding you back to do that thing you want to do if that's starting a business if that's fixing a relationship with somebody, if it's traveling, if it's moving, if it's whatever it is that you want to do and you want to apply these you know, tips to, you just have to have the balls to do it one day, whether it's right time or not the right time. And I'm definitely gonna take my advice on that because I'm very much so like a, a has to be the right moment and I have to be ready and things have to be planned because I'm a big planner. You guys will learn that like I take my planner everywhere. But at some point you also kind of just have to rip the band-aid off is what I call it. Just rip it off and just do it and do it for yourselves above all. Don't do it to make anybody happy. Don't do it because your family wants you to do it. Don't do it because your boyfriend or your spouse wants you to do it. Do it for you. Just do it for yourself. I felt it was really important to make this video because I know that there's a lot of people that only you know they only live off of making content and this has probably been one of the hardest times to make content i think because it's hard to figure out what's appropriate to put out there it's hard to figure out what's important enough with so many many important causes and things going on don't forget to vote register to vote your vote matters your voice needs to be heard i don't care who you vote for just make sure you guys vote for somebody and there's even an option to vote for nobody so just make sure you guys vote it's important it's been tough like i don't want to go and post a picture of just me with no meaning like I, i'm so much more purposeful than that and everything you do needs to be done with purpose if we learned anything from the passing of chadwick bozeman was that we must live a life of purpose i was getting off track but yeah definitely live with purpose so find that purpose and go after it and do it for you conclusion of that because i will go off on a tangent and i'll get like all over the place and then this video is going to be like 25 minutes long 
I didn't want anybody to know that I've been struggling with creating content, with putting out work that I love to do. Whether somebody sees it or not, whether somebody likes it or not, that's never why I've done things. I've always done things, again, because I love to do it. I didn't want anybody to know because I just, I hate like being sad. I hate being sad in general, I'm really not a sad person. And I didn't want to make anybody else sad because I'm one of those people like if I watch a really sad video, I'll start crying and I'll feel sad and I didn't want, like there's so many people that are going through such a hard time right now. I didn't want to be like somebody on camera making you guys sad. Like that's the last thing I want my channel to be. But again, my boyfriend's like, if you're going through this, maybe somebody else is going through this and they can apply it to their lives and you should do that. So here I am sharing my sad story with you guys about how I've been homesick and kind of just trying to find my way and where I want to be in the content creating world. So here we are. Those are all of the tips that I have for you guys as far as creating content and how to go about just staying on track, planning it, making sure that it's meaningful for you guys. And at some point you're just gonna have to do it whether it's the right moment or not, just start doing it. And eventually you're gonna be happy you started whenever it is that you did. So don't forget all of these things. I'll make sure to put a list down below of the tips again, just in case you guys didn't get them or you guys want to screenshot them if they're going to help you. I'll also put a link below of my equipment that I use for this vlog and I will put the link to my Instagram. Make sure you guys are following because I'd love to see the people that I have on this channel also have me on Instagram because I want to meet you guys, I want to chat with you guys, and it means a lot to the people that are subscribed to this channel that actually take the time to click that button and come into this space with me. I really, really appreciate it. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I just want to end this vlog quickly, short and sweet, if you guys were here at the start. Um, here we are, 2020. The year that, I mean, just flipped us all upside down and it's not over yet. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. I have a lot of exciting vlogs coming up and I am finally going for it. So you guys should go for that thing that you guys really want to do. Stop holding back, stop waiting, stop pretending, just do it, just go and do it. And I hope that me sharing just a little bit of my struggle has helped you guys in any way, shape, or form. If it did, leave me a comment below, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.